Hi guys, this is Shuman from ASA Technical. Today I am going to show you a solution to fix Ubuntu doesn't boot after installing in EFI mode or after dual booting with Windows in EFI mode. Ok, I recently installed Ubuntu in this PC alongside Windows 10 only to show you the solution. After installation, as you can see, as it is showing here, no bootable device. Insert boot disk and press any key. Basically, this is occurred when bootloader being overwritten during dual boot. And other issues may be corruption of bootloader, such as fail to upgrade during installation or power failure. However, don't worry, here's a best solution for this problem. Well, let's get started. At first, press Ctrl or Delete combination to restart the computer and go to BIOS. My BIOS key is F2. See your laptop manufacturer information for the BIOS key. Next, go to BIOS security tab. Next, you have to set the BIOS supervisor password or BIOS administrator password to access all the secure boot options. Once you're done, next go to boot tab. Now select secure boot option and enable it. Next, go to the BIOS security tab. Now select an EFI file as trusted for executing under secure boot mode option and hit enter. Now select your SSD or HDD and hit enter. Next, EFI and hit enter. Next, select Ubuntu and hit enter. Now select simx64.efi or grubx64.efi. You can select one of them as trusted for executing and hit enter. Now type Ubuntu as boot description and hit enter. And again hit enter to confirm. Now go to exit tab. Select Exist Saving Changes and hit Enter to save Configuration Changes and again go to BIOS. Next, go to Boot tab. Now select the EFI Ubuntu boot entry that you have created. Next, move this EFI Ubuntu boot entry upwards of the list to set as primary boot priority order. Next, disable the secure boot option and also there is no problem if you want to keep the secure boot option enabled. Ok, next go to security tab. Now clear the BIOS supervisor password or BIOS administrator password. Go to Exit tab, select Exit Saving Changes and hit Enter to save configuration changes. Ok, now your PC will be reboot. As you can see, the grab boot loader is working properly. Next, go to Advanced Options for Ubuntu to fix dual boot based related issues. Now select Ubuntu Recovery Mode option and hit Enter. Now select Update Grub Bootloader option and hit Enter. Ok. 
Okay, as you can see, the status adding boot menu entry for Ubuntu and Windows EFI firmware configuration is done. Press enter to exit. Now select resume normal boot and hit enter. Alright, as you can see, Ubuntu 19.10 is working properly. Ok, now let's check Windows 10 is working or not. Alright, Ubuntu 19.10 and Windows 10 version 1903 both OS working properly in UEFI mode. Now go back to Ubuntu. Alright, now run the Ubuntu software updater and make sure your PC is connected with the internet. It will fix the Ubuntu base related issues. Once you're done, just restart once, that's it. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. We hope you will like. Of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any questions, then please let us know. Please like, comment, share, we need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.